welcome to my channel welcome to another vlog today is a bit of a fun day we're gonna go on another mini field trip for the kids so somebody told me in the comments on my Houston when we were exploring Houston video which thank you so much sorry <clears throat> I had to clear my throat which thank you so much for telling me but in Houston they have free admission for certain things so on Thursdays the Children's Museum is free from 5 to 8 and the Natural Museum of Science is free from <clears throat> what's going on in my throat 2 to 5 so we're going to do both of those since they it's like one after the other um, we're going to pack like a lunch and just hang out in Houston and on two, every first Tuesday of the month they have free admission to the Houston Zoo and tickets already went on sale yesterday I set a reminder to on my iPhone I don't know why it didn't remind me set a reminder I don't know maybe I missed it or something happened I don't know and they're already sold out like all the tickets are sold out but I washed my hair I did my skincare and then put these on and then I'm gonna apply moisturizer when I take these off uh, I'm gonna do my hair and kind of like take you guys along today it's a bit of a gloomy I don't think it's supposed to rain today I don't think so 50% chance of rain with like a thunderstorm cloud all the way from 11 there's a 30% chance 11 a.m. like literally the whole day there's a 30% chance of rain well, we're not really going to be outside anyway. We already went to Herman Park and like explored downtown. We're just going to be hopping from like the museum to the children's museum. So like museum to museum. So I think we should be fine. I saw somebody on Instagram, Instagram stories. They made avocado toast and I was like, I haven't had avocado toast in a while. So I think that's what I'm going to make for breakfast. I have some leftover dough here that my husband, that we used for pizza. Yeah, um, yesterday's vlog, I filmed it. Hopefully, it'll make it to YouTube. So, I'm thinking to pan fry it because it's Turkish uh, flatbread and then use that. We'll see. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. If you know me, you know that I love comfortable more than anything, but at the same time, um, when we go out, I like kind of dressing up a little bit. So this is the OOTD for the day. I just picked up this bag from Amazon the other day, and I like the size. It's the perfect size because it's like a mini backpack. It's not too small where it literally doesn't fit anything. It can fit like my camera, my phone, other things that I need, but it's also not massive. And you could wear it like multiple ways. You can wear it across body, um, hook it over the shoulder, you know, just various ways. And then my favorite leggings ever from Amazon. These have the crossover um, in the front, like the V front. And then this is also from Amazon. Actually, everything's from Amazon. <laughs> my whole outfit is from Amazon. Even the sneakers that I'm going to be wearing are going to be from Amazon. So um, these are from Crazy Yoga. This is from, it's padded. It's like a nice tank. really love this one here. It comes in multiple colors. And I love the length because it's like hits at the perfect length right here so you don't show too much skin and then this blazer this is a black blazer that i actually got on amazon as well so amazon ootd kids are like running in and out of the house i'm gonna take off these eye patches now and apply some moisturizer do my skincare do my hair i just applied some georgia Romani luminous silk so i'm blending that out and then i have some new products from amazon which are similar to like the charlotte tilbury contour and blush wands First, let me actually apply some concealer. And I'm gonna go pretty full coverage with the concealer. So I'm gonna use the Boing Cakeless Concealer. This one's like, it offers pretty good coverage. Okay, and now I'm gonna try these new beauty wands here. Oh, you're not supposed to twist them off. You pop off the cap and then kind of like twist it open. And then this is the blush one and I used way too much the first time. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. I really like this color. It's like a mauve pink. It blends out well. I can't. I don't know. I can't speak for the Charlotte Tilbury ones because I've never used them. But I have used a ton of other blushes, like cream when ones. Does that thing start? At two. So we have some time. I don't know. It just blends out really well, in my opinion. Like it looks like a beautiful color. Okay. Now for the the bronzer is a bit dark. The only thing I'll say with these is that I feel like you kind of get ripped off on the product. Like as soon as you open it and squeeze them out, you notice that there's a lot of air in the tube and not a lot of product. 
So that was kind of disappointing. And then I'm going to do three. I'm going to contour a little bit actually. I don't know, I feel like these spongy applicators are having their moment this year and last year thanks to like Charlotte Tilbury. Like the Maybelline Glow Perfector, like everybody's just like, obsessed with these little spongy things and I definitely think they're super fun. Like the reason why I think is because of TikTok. I feel like TikTok definitely changes the game. Like s products that have been around for like 20 plus years are like becoming viral again because um, influencers are showing videos of how to use them and it just becomes like one of those things like oh I want to try that so I feel like TikTok definitely changed the game sometimes good sometimes bad I don't know if this is the best way to blend it in because I feel like this is my this is looking a bit muddy here let me try to work with this once you blend it out depending on what technique you use it can become very very subtle so I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep playing around with it. I do like the shade of it though, especially the blush. I feel like I like the blush a lot more. Oh, actually this side looks a lot better. And then I'm gonna go in with some powder for powder. Me, the e.l.f. camo. Not the e.l.f. camo. Is it the e.l.f. camo? What was that? The e.l.f. halo glow setting powder. Love it. I've been using this almost every single time I do my makeup lately. Clean up this area. And then whatever's left over, I'll pat on the under eye because I have pretty dry skin so I don't like applying too much and then all over the face. I feel like I do my makeup in every single video, but I don't know, I just feel like it, it's the moment where I get to just sit. All well, that's over there, I'm over here, playing around with makeup, doing makeup, having a moment. So I don't know, I've just been loving like every day just doing my makeup, trying different things. So I'm actually gonna try something different with the shark today. I usually use the round brush attachment, but I'm gonna try the curling barrel attachment. See if I can get like a, a blowout type look. I might hate it. I'm storing everything within. Oh, dreamy, breezy, we go. Easy, easy on our tiptoes. Undercover agents of the other. Beyond gravel. Here's the OOTD. This is the sports bra tank. Really love it. And then the leggings. Very, very comfortable. They're like yoga leggings. They don't really have compression. I size down for a little bit of compression. And then the blazer. I think I got a medium or a large. It's like a nice oversized blazer. And then I think I'm going to wear these sneakers here and pair it with this bag. And then I haven't brushed the hair out yet, but I'm kind of liking this whole side part situation. I just know my hair is not going to stay like this. It's just not. Especially in the humidity. It is crazy humid here in Houston. I like how this hairstyle looks with like a side part. It looks like super voluminous and fluffy so the thing with when I use the shark is that it doesn't give me like the curls like a curling iron would but it gives like a nice like a Marilyn Monroe type blonde. Like I look like I could be a presidential candidate right now. <laughs> Which funny story my fourth grade teacher told me he could totally see me being the president of the United States when I grew up. Um, but I was like, yeah, sorry to birch your well, I wasn't born in the United States. I am a United States citizen, but wasn't born here. Sorry, kids are playing there. I feel like I liked the side part a lot more. Like way more. Maybe I'll just keep it like this. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the grand. got here a little bit early with some time to kill it's I think it's from 2 to 5 they have the permanent exhibits at the National Museum of Science or the Museum of Natural Science and then from 5 to 8 is the Children's Museum so it's a beautiful day out it's like not sunny it's gloomy but it's very humid um, so we just kind of walked around Herman Park a little bit to kill some time it's such a beautiful park and look at this it's gorgeous here just on the screen, but it shows. Look at that pointy one. It's a baby one. Look at the little baby one up there. It's a baby. Usually the girls go high. 
hunting because there's more girls. Really? And the dads protect. Oh, really? You learned that in school? No. Then how? Do, you just know? Because of wildcats. Because of wildcats. That's how big it was right here. It says don't touch, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Baby. Baby turtles. The ocelot, Yamka's favorite animal. Well, one of her favorites. And then there's a jaguar in the back there. Oh yeah, they even made it move. The dinosaurs. Wow, yeah. This is a cool overlook. Wow. This should be fun. Ooh. Eggs. Look at that ostrich egg. You think there's an ostrich egg? Wait, no. But look how teeny tiny. That is beautiful. It's not even showing how shiny it is. Look at that. Quartz. That looks like a building. Wow. Looks like a skyscraper. Wow. Look at how huge this guy is. This guy is massive. Wow. It's beautiful. This is opal. This one's beautiful. Look at that. What is that? Where is it found in? It's from Pakistan. after four so we explored all the exhibits it was really nice uh, we're gonna go to the children's museum next the children's museum is from five to eight I'm just gonna the museum of natural science is from two to five so i'd say it's a perfect amount of time to kind of like explore everything um but we are so hungry right now we're waiting my husband's gonna go get the little mini cooler that we packed we packed a bunch of stuff to make sandwiches we're gonna make some sandwiches sit here in this cute mossy some of them are this cute area right here, cute little area here at Herman Park, right by that water area that I showed in my last vlog when we visited Houston. Such a beautiful day out. Probably shouldn't have worn a blazer, but yeah. We are hungry, hungry. Are you hungry? Did you have fun? Yeah. It was fun. It was nice. A lot of exhibits to explore. So the permanent exhibits were, there was the Egypt, the Americas, what else was there? The dinosaurs, the, the minerals, and the rocks, and the vault, gemstone vault. Those were probably my favorite. There's so many beautiful minerals and gemstones. So beautiful. What else was there? Um, the, the energy place. Oh yeah, the energy place on the fourth level. Um, so yeah, it was fun. And now, I feel like we're already kind of tired, but we have like a whole children's museum to explore for this. So, plan for a full day of fun. I added ice in here, as you guys saw in that clip in the morning, and then we didn't add water because we had to go buy water, so stop by Target to buy some water, and the ice has not melted. We left this in the car the entire time we were there. Wow, you're so tall. We parked, since the Children's Museum parking, I think you have to pay for it, we parked uh, back where we parked the first time. There's the parking lots by the, um, by the Butterfly Garden. So we're walking to the museum. This looks so fun. This is the Children's Museum. It's only like an 11 minute walk from the parking lot. Here it is. The Children's Museum of Houston. 